Hey there, everybody. Hope you're ready for a dry land session. It's really cool to be back. It's been a while. I'm uh, just finishing my warm up here and then uh, we'll get to it. Uh, we're still, we already got 10 people there. That's a good start. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see how many people are going to join. I know it's been a really long time. Um, I've still done a bunch of dry land in the meantime, but it's been a while since we had the last live stream. <sighs> So that's going to be exciting to see how many is going to join us today and uh, and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly it's going to hurt as we get to it and how badly
and, uh, and then in every break I'm going to explain the next two exercises. They're going to be a variation of small rhythm jumps, not, not explosive, it's more endurance, um, and then some statical exercises just to get used to that burning feel in the legs and, uh, and to be ready for the inline season that lies ahead, hopefully, if everything goes well um, with the whole COVID situation. I, I love to hear where you guys are from. Uh, I saw some Indians. I know there's a few Americans with us. I tried to do this. I'm, I'm in the US right now for training. Uh, I tried to do this in the morning so the Europeans could follow. Um, I don't know how that's gonna play out for some of the Asian countries or if you're further east. Um, but I hope this is convenient for everybody. If not, you let me know when you want the next dry line session and I'll try and try and adapt for it. I have a pretty loose schedule so I can, I can fit it in. Um, and then lastly, before we get going, remember to super chat, because if you super chat, I'll be motivated to do more of these. Hey, Hungary. Oh, I can't remember we had any Hungarians before. Um, yeah, so every super chat that I get will be awesome. Uh, it's gonna motivate me to do more videos. Last year, or in the summer, we received a bunch of super chats, so we upgraded the microphones. Uh, so hopefully that's gonna give you a better experience as a viewer or as an athlete out there. Uh, damn, so many countries, that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a good start, Holland. Yeah, I figured, figured it'd be a good time for Europe. This is when I would do my, my evening workout, uh, but now it's just my, my morning workout. Um, oh, Sonia, Spasiva. So if you wanna follow Sophia's, uh, Sophia's good example here, <laughs> more videos, you can just super chat. Um, well, you got the whole video to do it. You can donate any amount from, I think it starts at half, half a dollar or so. So whatever you feel comfortable with. You can leave it there. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm gonna do a minute and a half, straight into a new exercise for a minute and a half, and then two minutes rest. I'll take off jacket number one. Hopefully I'll get to the point where I can actually take off my jacket, but I swear it's really cold in here. Um, so bear with me for that. I think I'm still wearing something uh, rather tight for my lower body so you can see what I'm doing um, in a non-sexual way. Um, I'll try and show the exercises as long as I, I have the energy. I will try and give some a few hints, some commentaries, some, some technical focus points for you guys to, to try and fixate on a little and, and hopefully improve as we go along. It might be difficult at the end, but really just focus on the technique and don't overdo it. So rather go with the medium program or the beginner's program um, as I described below instead of going too hard early on. I'll just go into settings on my phone for a second because I think I did something with the screen so it blacks out after a minute. That would be annoying for all of us. So uh, hang on there and we'll start in, I've got my watch here. I want to start in a minute and 10 seconds. So be ready for that. Be right back. That should be fixed. Okay, let me just uh, try and see if I can get this right. Just bear with me, first time doing this in an actual garage. Last time we had like half a port skill. Um, okay, so, let's see here. I'll just quickly explain the first two exercises. If there's any questions in the, in the break, I'll go back, I'll be able to look at my phone and I'll be able to answer those questions. So first two is called the kill zone and then micro skate jumps. Y'all, most of you probably are skate jumps. It's a pretty common exercise. Kill zone is like skating imitations, but instead of a big movement, it's a very compact movement where you really focus on feeling that power. So less movement, but really feel like you're pushing into the ground. This is how it is. We're not starting yet. That was kill zone. And then mini skate jumps. You can either use the arms or keep them on the back. I generally keep them on the back because I'm a long distance skater. If you feel like it's more comfortable using them, you may use them. It's just like this. Really no power, but a rhythm. Just super tiny jumps, almost no air time. So those are the first two exercises. And then we have two minutes of rest where I will be explaining the next two exercises. So don't worry about that yet because eight exercises is a lot to remember. I'm starting to feel that. I uh, probably forget half of it as we go through, but I wrote them down so I can always double check. And uh, yeah, if you have a watch, that'd be great. I will keep track of the every, every minute and every minute and a half. 
Um, and if you're on schedule, no matter if you're doing beginners, medium, or the elite program or elite timing, we're gonna start the next exercise at the same time. So that's pretty convenient. Um, this is the point where I really miss Sophia because she is great at reminding me when it's time and I'm pretty bad at remembering, but I shall do my very best. Okay, if you're ready, we're gonna start in 30 seconds. First exercise is the kill zone. And remember, well, we go straight into the skate jumps, like the micro skate jumps. What are we doing? In 15. Eight. It's a random countdown, but Okay, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's start out super slow. The slower the better, actually. Don't let the knees fall in. Try and keep them up. Also, as you go across, make sure it's all aligned. And then try and relax. I'm trying to remember how many different nationalities we have already. I saw Hungary, Czech Republic, somebody from Chicago, there's a few Russians, especially Russian, and uh, what else? India, no Danes. Come on Denmark, it's prime time. Saw the Netherlands, should be 10 on us. It's a good start. Hope we'll have more and more people join. This workout should take 40 to 50 minutes in total. It's kind of short. If you did a good warm up, it should be a little more. That was a minute 10. So really try and hold it as you fall. Don't want to go too fast. Keep the control here. Five, four seconds. And then, baby ski jumps. Super small. As you can see, I'm almost in the lifting off. It's really just about the position, the rhythm. So even though you're not powerful up in the air, you still want to get low. You still really want to feel loading this leg up. Even though you're not using it. Just to get used to that position, being in a powerful position, as you can see, still get into that 90 degree knee angle here. Make sure you have your recovery leg perfectly. Falling down, not overly tense. not burning up and you can still manage to focus on your technique, be aware that your upper body is not turning upwards. Keep it compact so you can really transfer the power you generate. And rest. See now we've got two minutes of rest. It's a long effort but it's also a long rest. Uh, now we've got more than 20 live viewers. That's pretty good. Sorry if I if I announce this workout a little late, um, I wasn't sure when I should schedule it, um, so it came out a little later. I'll try and I'd be better at updating it early on for the next time. Let me see, Czech Republic, the Netherlands, Chicago, Hungary, Russia, India, Yo, Shruti, <laughs> hey. All right, like I said, you can ask any questions, whether it's general skating uh, related topics or if it's specific to, to this dryline workout, I'll try and, and spend these two minutes answering those. If not, 
We are gonna get to the next two exercises in a little less than a minute. So I'll introduce you to them. Circles and then outward hops. So circles, you go down in skating position, try and maintain everything stable, side and a circle. We're gonna do three in each leg, switch to the other leg. And the other exercise, outward hops, is where you get down on one leg and then you jump five times, immediate switch, and five times on the other side. Any questions to that? If not, even if there is questions, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. Oh, I'm trying to. Five, two, one, circles. Again, goes for everything. You feel comfortable or more comfortable using your arms, or if you just wanna practice it, you're more than welcome to. If not, you can also do it without the arms. This benefits to both. Your arms is gonna strike your core a little maybe. It's gonna make it more natural when you get on the straight or skates to actually use the arms. Whereas if you keep it on the back, you're really gonna challenge yourself when it comes to stability. And for me, I feel like I need to practice not twisting the upper body, trying to keep the shoulders perfectly straight. And that's it's a little harder when you have the arms in the back. We're halfway with this first one. Straight into the outer hops. Two, three, four, five. Switch, stay down when you switch. Remember, the whole purpose, the goal, is to hurt. So don't go easy. Five on each leg. Just a minute ten to go. Again, this is not a matter of jumping high. If anything, you want to be low. So really just keep it smooth, keep close to the ground, everything compact, everything in position, halfway. Make sure you find balance before you initiate the next jump. Otherwise, you're just going to rush it all the way through rather slow down, really find it, and move on. 20 seconds. two minutes of rest to catch your breath oh Gerrit Wolders super chat thanks G one more super chat it's really kind of you remember those those of you to super chat you can leave a note when you want the next live stream and I'll uh, I'll make sure to uh, to do my very best to adapt and uh, and put the next live stream whenever it suits you um, so there's even a bonus if you super chat. Um, oh, Argentina. One more to the list. Yeah, it's cool to do together. I enjoy this. Sometimes it's, it's even easier. I mean, it's not easier to talk as we go through, but just getting like my mind off the burn and just instead focusing on talking and Every time I remind you guys what to do technically, I'm also reminding myself, which is a big plus. Anyways, we've got one more minute. So next one, 
It's again a double exercise. The first one is taps. So you go down to skating position, stretch the leg out, and then you make taps. And make sure you get, like you loosen up, you get the legs fully down to the ground with no tension, and then you lift it again. Make sure nothing rocks. So that's the first exercise we do. For this we do five on each side. So five taps, squish leg, five taps. Um, and the next one is up over up. So the leg limitations, but you go from up, down, drive it to the side, up, down, drive it to the side, up. And continue like that. We're starting in 10 seconds already. Whew. I believe you should have explained it beforehand because it's okay. Two, one, the taps. Down, 90 degrees, find the position, leg to the side, and lift. 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 And to the side. This should burn the gluteus medius, the side of your butt. If not, something's wrong. Or something's really right. I'd be impressed. 30 seconds gone already. So the goal here is really to isolate the working part so nothing here moves. And it's really just that leg that goes up. This knee especially has to be set in position in between your shoulders and your toes. So don't let anything tilt. Don't let this go in. Stay in position. In my opinion, this is the hardest exercise of the program. We've got 20 more seconds. If you're one of those many skaters, myself included, when I get tired, like attempt to fall in with the knee, or even like can't stay straight in the frame or plate, and you fall to the inside, this exercise is truly beneficial. And we got one second. No rest. Straight into that one. The up, over, and up. The more of a smooth, continuous movement you can make this, the better. The whole point of this is that we practice to use our body weight to generate speed and power and put it into the ground. You don't lose that power anywhere else. You don't lose the upper body, don't tilt it, be focused, keep position, and generate speed. you struggle with holding it here before you fall to the side, really try and feel your body weight on the outside of your shoes. Three seconds. And that's it. Two minutes of rest and we get to the last little pair of exercises. Offset one. We got two sets. So, but hey, halfway is, is halfway. Yeah, I thought there would be a motivating point. There was not. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Crooch or Crew TJ. Either way, uh, I'm enjoying this as well. I love, I love coaching, I love teaching people and sharing what I learned uh, through uh, 20 years of skating every single day. <laughs> uh, comes in handy. Fickleborn. Poland. That, now we've got to be above 10 different nations or nationalities. Hey, Poland. Uh, thanks for joining. It's fun to have you. Okay, before I forget, before I run out of breath, I will explain the last two exercises. Um, the first one is super simple. 
this weight transfer. So it's basically stay in position, the straightest side, everything here has to be parallel to the ground. Really feel that you got all the way here. You should be able to lift the opposite leg. You don't have to. That's the first one. It's not too hard. And then the other one, even though I said it's a minute and a half, this one is it's gonna be two minutes. It's single leg up downs. So for 30 seconds straight, you just go up downs on one leg. And after 30 seconds, we switch at the bottom. And 30 seconds at the other leg. Switch at the bottom, 30 seconds. And 30 seconds again. Uh, yeah, that one's gonna be hard. If Sophia was here, she would be like, nah, it's the easy one. But I don't know, we should make this a poll. Uh, which of these eight exercises do you find to be the most challenging? I like to hear that. And let's go. So weight transfer. Again, trying to maybe start every exercise, get down in position, skating movement, and then take it from there. That way, I'm sure you're gonna have the basics, the essential set, once you get into it. So really get everything over there, hip, shoulders, so you can lift this leg if you wanted to, all the weight. That's why it's called the weight transfer. Again, don't rush it. You can even try and feel that weight going here from side to side. If you're doing it correctly. A nice little thing is either to look up a little. If you're watching me on a big screen, that would be great. Not because it's me, but because then you're forced to look forward a little. So when you're out skating, nobody's going to look straight down at your feet for multiple reasons. You can't see where you're going, but also if you do that, generally the second you look down, you tend to put everything up. So if you're looking a little through the eyebrows, is what my coach always told me, put forward kind of, then chances of having the correct body position will be much, much better. Okay, and we switch so single leg for 30 seconds. This, this is probably gonna be a hard part. So really force yourself to get down in position. 90 degrees and up. All the body should not move at any point during this, this whole exercise. Just relax it, don't let your hips go backward. Try and get comfortable and get comfortable here. This one is two minutes, a little reminder. We switch at the bottom, we go 30 seconds in the other leg. Oh, I feel the burn. at the bottom. So again, really don't go easy on these. There's so many ways to cheat, you can like overextend a little. Don't do that. Just keep it smooth, floating movement. Really try and get down. And switch at the bottom, last 30. Then we get a long, comfortable, needed set rest. It's like, as an indicator, if I'm low enough, kind of use this knee, if I can feel that all the way down at the opposite angle, then I know I'm down at that 90 degree. You can also use this elbow, the elbow in front. If you can have that here, kind of laying out on this knee, it's a little, Little test and rest. Set one down, one to go, halfway. <sighs> Applause to everybody that made it this far. Solid. For those of you who have not been doing dry line for a while, I respect, even for those that have. Um, and then it's probably gonna hurt a little bit tomorrow. But then again, soreness is weakness leaving the body. Quote somebody. Good stuff. 
yeah, my butt really hurts. Lower, he is a tough coach. Hey Tracy, 60 years old, trying to defy age, that's badass. I, I can't relate to that, but this is 26 years old, but I feel like it's pretty tough already, so I can't imagine. Um, so that's pretty cool, impressive. And, uh, oh, Danny, thanks a lot. Um, really happy to hear how this helps people, that's nice. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Again, I'll keep doing these. Uh, I'm hoping for a lot of super chats. It's gonna support me. Uh, I'll try and buy some more equipment. I've really been looking at those, um, I don't even know what they're called, but like 360 cameras, and then I'll be able to shoot uh, some technique videos on skates myself. Um, then a dry line is, is a really good uh, way of getting in shape and a way of getting stronger, slow down the movements, and and really focus on all the details that should be optimized in order to skate well. Um, but I, I also want to make videos on skates because in the end that's that's what it comes down to and that's that's the most important thing, if anything. Um, so I want to buy one of those fancy 360 whatever. Um, so if you want to support that, in the end it's going to benefit all of us. You can super chat. Um, there's a dollar sign in the chat and um, you can just use that and you can donate any amount. I think really any amount. You can also make a sticker if you're into stickers. Um, yeah, if you feel like helping me out for hurting you guys, that's a weird trade. I'm crazy if there's a market for it. Hey, exercise, do you find the hardest? Because uh, for me personally, I always struggle with the, um, anything that attacks the side of your butt. And I think it's because growing up, I had a habit of like, being a little shaky on my knees and caving in, it's like my skates falling to the inside. Um, so for me, it's always been hard to like stabilize the knees and stabilize the angles. Um, so I find the taps and the circles to be really hard after only 30 seconds of downtime. Whereas some of the other exercises like the kill zone or, or like just sitting in base position, I feel like I could do that for hours, but it's also not as technical, um, where I find it sometimes easier to just switch the brain off. Um, Daniel Greiber, I feel like it's a Danish name. I think I heard that before. Uh, know any place you have for, for buying? Uh, ah, that's a perfect question. Um, thanks for asking that. I have mentioned this before in previous live drylands, uh, but it's a while ago, so that's fair. I am co-owner um, of a skating store called topskate.dk. If you want the English side, it's called topskate.dk slash en, as in English or England, I assume. Um, we're I'm basically, together with two really good friends and also experienced skaters, we're selling all the equipment that we find to be the best equipment out there. So all the reviews and stuff I do in the Facebook or the YouTube channel. Um, it's really equipment that I, that I approve of and, and that's also the equipment that I'm selling in that store. Um, it's, it's generally an online store. We ship worldwide, but upon request, we, uh, we can also do like tryout days, um, but that would have to be in a Copenhagen area. Um, that's the issue with skating that there's not that many stores and uh, and we're just a small, small online store. So we can't really open any shops around the world or anything. Um, so in order to try out skates, you would have to come to Copenhagen. Um, but if the skates don't fit, if you, if you order them online and they don't fit, uh, we'll just send you a new pair of skates right after immediately, um, free of charge. And um, yeah. That's the best service we can offer. Um, also, we have like pretty good, um, oh, Rule Nor, I know where that is. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, try and talk to my colleagues about it and uh, we can figure that out uh, for sure. Awesome. Thanks, Croach. God, I really struggle with the, um, we have a question here from G. Uh, if I make any special programs for marathons or for speed skaters, yes, I do. I have spent a ton of time last winter. Uh, that's the good part to be about being a pro speed skater is that you can only train that many hours a day, so you have a lot of spare time. And I spent all of that spare time putting together 
a three month get ready to a marathon on skates obviously program and i think it turned out pretty well it has it has just i think it's it has more than 500 downloads right now uh, i'm pretty proud of that uh, but it also took a lot of time and effort so i'm um, just glad people can use it um in the description below there is there's a link to where you can download it um, and you can even preview it and see I think the first week for free um, and it's it's just a program that everybody can use it automatically adapts to your level so there's no like time standards or speed standards it's based off from um, like the feeling the the estimated effort and then heart rate um, there's a simple guide on like where you should be in different zones for the different workouts and the combination of dry land and skating and running core exercises, everything I found necessary and essential to become good at skating. So take a look at that. But um, first, we're gonna get done with this. If there's any more questions to the exercises, now is the time. Otherwise, you know the drill. I'll try. I'll try and show it from the side, which is also if Sophia is still watching, she is. It's a good way to show how low you have to be. I also force myself to not not be low. Um, and last little question from Sophia. If I make weightlifting programs for skaters, yes, it's in the making. I expect it to be public somewhere early spring. Um, a weightlifting program for speed skaters because there's no, like there's, there's not a thing you can really find anywhere and there's no specialist in the field. And I've been doing weightlifting since the age of 12 and skated since, since I developed memory and uh, try and combine that in order to, to make this weightlifting program for skaters. Um, so if you're a skater and you're weightlifting, uh, that's the thing for you. I expect to have that published somewhere March, April. It's gonna take a while because I want it to be perfect. So you'll have to bear with me on that, but it's still, it's early enough to, to get used to the exercises before the skating season really kicks in. Um, also, maybe I could use a model, Sophia, so. Okay, let's get ready. Second time. Sometimes it feels easier because you're kind of used to the pain. There's no surprise in it. Okay, like I said, I'll try and do the exercises from the side. I'm not cold anymore. It's kind of wild. Yes, and I'm wearing a skin suit because it gives me the feeling of being on skates. And then there's no stuff rubbing anywhere and yeah, it's just, it's just nicer. Seeing people skating in sweatpants and stuff, I don't get that. Okay, so if you remember the first two exercises, let's start and shake the leg. Oh, I think I messed up for a second, but we should be back again. Okay, we're starting in five. So again, before I forget, kill zone and the tiny skate games. Let's do it. I'll show it from the side. You can see there's almost no movement here. If you couldn't see it from the side, it would look like I just switched legs almost. A little to the side. Smooth movement. Always make sure that when you switch the weight from one leg to the other, then you're not tilting anything. You're not falling onto it. You're catching it. Like you're skating onto it. It's one of the biggest, let's say, big, the biggest difference between a fitness skater and, a, and an elite skater is that they really continue the the movement from one leg to the other. So it's not like set off, set off. It's really just one never ending until you're really tired. A lot easier. Use your body weight better. Fifteen more seconds, and then we're gonna go straight into the tiny baby skate jumps. Position, rhythm, catch it in a 
low position. So no pet should go down. You really want to be low, all right? It should touch the ground. You also don't want to do that on skates. When you catch it here, go down, set up. All be low. The same go goes with the catching and low. Also means you should build from a low position. So already from down here, you start building power. Even though it's not a lot of power. Instead of waiting till you're here and do a little desperate jump, go from the bottom. And rest. Oh, I said it's going to be a lot easier for me because I don't have to show the exercises again. Trust me, it's a big plus. Oh. 35 viewers. It's today's PB. It's even a season PB because it's season first. Awesome. Oh, we should get the back, uh, get back the HR, the heart rate challenge. If anybody's using heart rate monitors, let's find the max of today. Check mine. Trust one, 145 is my max. Let's see if anybody's got better than that. Got one more minute, so we go again. Oof, 163, that's solid. It's a lot of calories in the bank also. It's gonna be good for some dessert. So if you have 75, <laughs> that's good. 75, I think if it's below 100, it means you're doing it wrong or that you're not doing it at all. Or crazy good shape. Could be that. Got 30 more seconds before we go again. Damn, 163 though. Crote. Which exercise was that? I'm curious. Is that the one we just did? That's impressive. It's good. The dynamic, the rhythm. Generally, if you do the exercise correctly, if you can get a high heart rate, it just means you're really efficient, effective. Too much effort. <laughs> yeah, right, so yeah. Okay, circles and outward hops. Try and do it from the side again. And two, one, go. So get down to that position, shoulder, knee, toes, stay on one leg, straight to the side, smooth, perfect circle. Just like when I was skating. As you can see, this does not move at all. Just that circle. Smooth weight transfer. Again, pushing straight to the side. I even found a line here in the board. That's not a bad idea. Straight to the side, circle, back, side, circle. If you pause the circle here, you can see how, like I explained before, with the single leg thing, this knee is pretty close to this angle. That's how you know this is hanging down. Like loosely, you want that blood flow to go through. So try and get that relaxed. And the reason why it doesn't pop anywhere is because you sit in your hips. So you get it here, this is the perfect position. This relaxed, perfectly vertical. This other leg, the support leg, shoulder, knee, toe, and you can do your circles. Damn it. I can't recommend to do breaks in the middle of this exercise because it hurts a lot to do this. Stay, stay one leg thing. I'll regret it later. Already one minute and fifteen. And our hops. Five to each. We go again. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see I'm not really extending this way. 
basically just moving it prior to both the ground. This is an exercise that really teaches you anything. Balance, <laughs> but also to catch it in a low position because you're never really leaving that position. Also, it teaches you to count to five while being physically challenged. I need that. Okay, 50 seconds to go. Halfway with set number two. So three quarters through. That sounds, it actually does sound like a positive thing. I really appreciate that you guys already know the exercises and I can respect. And as you're breathing, so the next one, the taps, the small little 160 again, feels easy though. Solid. If it feels easy, you're good. Taps and then the up, down, to the side, up, down, to the side. Sophia really does not like the outward hops. It's crazy. Um, be surprised. For a person that spends so much time in that skating position, so good at all the exercises. She's not good at them. Maybe it's more of an inline thing because you do that under push so you kind of activate both sides. Um, that makes sense. So you should do more inlining. Okay. Um, oh yeah, also a little teaser. At the end of it, um, I kind of spoil that something I've been working on lately. Uh, we'll try and do some individual online coaching and some technique analysis. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be like, for the people that are watching these dry line lives, you can have a first first chance at signing up for that if that's anything you're interested in. We're starting again, 15 seconds. Taps, the up, over, off. Taps, taps, pretty simple. Starting five seconds. But from the side, you can maybe see where it really meant that you get all the way down to the ground. Here we go. So now I'm into the skating position. Easy way to find it. Can you touch your heels? Can your elbows be like that? If this perfectly fits your fist, like your weird hands. And here we go. Straight to the side, lift up, down, up, down, up. Five each. So here's the most important part, not to do this, but really keep this fixated and just use your butt to lift that leg. That's the challenge. Straight up, down, side, up. Even though 
though we're not doing the circle exercise anymore, you can still practice that movement. I'm not just pulling it in, but actually making that circle. So you use this leg to generate free speed. Generate free speed. I oh, can't believe we still got more than 30 people. Did this all summer? Hell yeah. So do we. Sophia and I have a lot of YouTube proof that we also did it. Uh, okay, last one. Still got more than a minute and a half. Just to, to sum up, it's the, um, it's the weight transfer. So slow and steady, smooth from side to side. I'll try and explain what I meant before that everything should be aligned with the ground. It's like shoulders should be not rocking, same for the hips, should be steady. Everything should also point forward, so your feet should point in the direction you want to skate, so don't open up your hips. Everything pointing forward. And then just smooth from side to side. And really try and picture that feeling of how you can sense the weight going from one foot to the other, one side of the body to the other side of the body. Um, and then the up downs, not much to say. Don't go easy on it. It's, you're only fooling yourself. Really get down in the 90 degree position. Whether you want to go fast or slow, that's up to you. But every time you go down, you go up. Don't overextend and get that little second of rest at the top. Keep it smooth. Keep it continuous. It's the last exercise. Last one, best one. This is where, it's where we get to make the difference. And this is the exercise, this is the last minute that's, <laughs> that's gonna make a difference at the end of a race. Hey Darren, Australia is now on the list of nationalities present. It is fair to not do this at 5.20 in the morning. That's all right, see you, see you later. Yes, pointing forward to make a good sideways push. But there's, we're starting in five. I'll explain this as we go. There's a lot of reasons why I really wanna make sure everything is pointing forward. So one thing is obviously you don't want to open up your hips. Um, I'm going to do the exercise as well. You don't want to open up the hips because um, then you're just not going to push anywhere. You're just going to lose it to the side. So in order to keep pressure, it's like if you're trying to run like this in skates, you're not going to go anywhere. You have to turn. But when you're off at speed, you kind of put that energy to the side. Whereas if you open, the skates just going to fly away. Um, so that's the main reason. But if you open up here, you will have to compensate with the opposite knee. So you push that in, then you lose power from this leg. And then when you transfer it to the other leg, you're gonna be all, all rotated. And that's not a good skating. So it's not just because of the push. It's just because everything has to be pointing forward in order to generate speed. Remember how I showed you guys to test that you're in the right position. Elbow out here, can you touch your heels, toes, can you have a fist there? That's probably good. 20 more seconds, and we switch to single leg out downs. It's gonna be 30, 30, 30, 30. That's four. Quick. Remember no rest, we start in two seconds and straight into up downs. So you can see this recovery leg goes down here in that position and up. Down there, up. Don't twist it like this. Keep, again, everything pointing forward. Let me 
switch at the bottom, the next breath. Bottom switch. Stay focused here. Try and have the same kind of speed throughout the whole movement. So no, any quick, quick points. Five more, we switch at the bottom. And switch down here. Okay, one minute to go, we're done for today. Think about your breathing. Relax your upper body. Don't waste energy up here. Keep your hips under. In five seconds, we switched the last time, also at the bottom. Just now, the other leg, and we go. Last 30. Focus on your technique, ignore the pain. We're gonna make it. Good job, everybody. Impressive that we had 30 people through the whole thing. Because that was not easy, especially if you've been a bit lazy lately with the workouts. <laughs> and this is a tough, tough comeback. Um, I'll stay online. Oh, some questions came in here. I'll stay online to answer questions. Generally, we do this Q&A kind of thing after every live stream. And now it's been a while, so I can imagine there could be questions. And uh, I'll be here for those. Before I get to those, I <laughs> will have been lazy. Points for honesty. Uh, it's never too late to catch up though. Somebody earlier today said, I think it was a, a woman said that she was 60 and still going strong. So that kind of steals the excuses for most people. Um, yeah, so I mentioned that I would like give a little teaser for some online coaching that I'll be doing. Um, so that's about it. I'll do some online coaching. I am uh, right in the middle of creating my own little website for it. Uh, it's something I've done before some years ago and then kind of put it on hold because I was writing my bachelor thesis and, and also the whole full-time skating thing. Uh, but now I'm done with the school. And um, yeah, COVID kind of spoiled all social activities outside skating. So um, I have time to try and help people out with their skating, with their training. Um, it, it doesn't have to be elite athletes. Uh, definitely doesn't have to be elite athletes. Um, I think it's, it's an exciting challenge to, to try and figure out how to help just general people. Um, and I believe I have, um, I've learned how to, to get the most out of the hours that we're actually spending on our skates. And I think it can be more fun. It can be uh, inspiring. There's gonna be some new drills, of course. Um, and just to help people out and, and the, the time they have for skating. Most people have a busy, busy life. Um, but the time that they have that they dedicate to their skating, I, I wanna play a role in making that a little more interesting and just so that they can get more out of the time and effort they put in their skating. And like all from periodization to dryland program skating, um, so basically the way I want to do it is that when a skater wants to be coached by me uh, at first I would like have a phone call make them fill in a form where they can like, explain their goals explain their weaknesses explain their strengths and then also just every little hurdle there there may be in their daily life that should be considered or taken into account when we're making this training program and then if possible it would be great if they could send videos of them skating and I'll try and do some technical analysis because I really believe that even though a lot of these things like you want to be in a good base position you don't want to twist your upper body it goes for everybody there's also a lot of things that go for the individual skater um, so by that I mean like individual coaching individual individual technical analysis of the skaters that I'll be coaching and whether you're 70 years old and you're skating twice a week she just wants some new drills some new exercises 
maybe you want to get rid of some injuries with some prehab dryland stuff um, yep yeah, I'll be there to help if this is something that you're interested in you can either uh, message me on Instagram my Instagram is star Victor or Victor star I think it's star Victor or even better you can just email me um, I don't know if I can chat in my own video but if you send me an email it's Victor dot Tharup at gmail.com. Um, I don't know if you're a foreigner, my name might be a little weird, but also it's the name of my channel, so it should be okay, easy to remember. Um, but hit me up with an email. Thing here is that uh, there's only gonna be 10 spots because I still have limited time due to my own skating, and I also wanna make sure that these programs are perfect for whatever the purpose of them might be. Uh, so there's gonna be 10 spots and they go to the first 10 people that sign up. Um, but I think it'd be cool to let the people here following this channel and that actually are part of these live streams, I feel like I know you a little, um, to give you a chance to sign up a little before everybody else. So you can. Uh, again, victor.tharup at gmail.com. I'll write it uh, in the comments below or maybe somebody can write it. Um, but then I'd love to help you out with your skating and I think it'd be a lot of fun sharing exercises and just making sure you peak for your competitions, whether you want to take your marathon time from an hour 40 to an hour 20, or if you just want fun or get in better shape, I'd love to be part of that journey. Hey, while I'm just rambling along, Jimmy R Club gave me a super chat of an incredibly high amount in a not so great currency, but I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. It's a, it's a nice emoji. Is that a fox? I really hope Sophia's watching because, uh, She's all about the fox. Thank you. And one more from Crowd J. Oof, the man with the highest heart rate. Also gave the best super chat of the day. Thank you so much. Um, on a serious note, this is really cool. Uh, it goes to show me that you guys actually uh, like what I'm doing and I'll do more of it, uh, of course. Let me, let me know when, if this is a good time of the day, if it should be earlier. Um, I was pretty worried what would be the right time of the day and the week because um, it's just it's complicated with time differences um, but obviously the whole reason I do this is for as many people as possible to enjoy it um, so the more people we can have joining I think it's pretty cool that we've been constantly 30 or more um, thanks crowd thanks a lot I appreciate that I really do that's super cool um, Yeah, you're right, Daniel. I was a bit late with the announcing it, um, but really just let me know right now in the chat when when would fit you all best for the next chat, because then I'll um, then I'll just I'll try and plan it. Um, I don't know if we can make a poll. I could try and do that on YouTube, but um, yeah. Oh, before the super chat runs out, thanks again, Crote. Crote. I don't know how to pronounce all these names. Crote. That sounds cool. It's a little like the dude from Marvel or Avengers. Croak, croak. Anyways, um, yeah. Let me know when you want the next live stream. And I promise to announce it uh, a little ahead of time, not just half a day before. So we can be more people and we can have more fun and heard more. Uh, I'll give you a few days of rest because um, I'm sore and I do this pretty often. <laughs> so I can imagine a few people will be sore after this okay um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on my bike I made this little garage set up um, I've been swifting a lot um, I think it's a fun way to mix up my threshold zone 4 zone 5 workouts to do it in a more natural way so this week I've been swifting and uh, I think I'll do that it's like an online biking platform kind of fun um, and I'm somewhat good at cycling but not good at bike races because I don't know how to be in a peloton and stuff. So I think I could be a good Swiffer. So I'm uh, doing that, but skating comes first. So that's uh, just a little hobby to be in really good shape. Uh, but I'll hop on this bike and do my, uh, my cool down in a few seconds. I'll leave the live stream on for a minute or so. Um, then if anybody feel like super chatting, supporting, haven't done it yet, you can, or if you just have, Last little question, then I'm here spinning.
Four. Oof. Spinning for a minute of the zoo. If I can get the resistance down a little. But yeah, so much fun to have all of you watching. And again, if, if anybody wants this to be at a specific time of the day or a day of the week, let me know. Time is perfect for Holland. The announcement came as a surprise, but hey. Groot, groot, groot. God damn, my Dutch is not that good. Time is good on the West Coast. Okay, might be a good time. What's up, 10, Utah time, it was 10.30. Um, but wake up super early in the morning, so for me it was good as well. So if everybody is happy with this, I'll make it middle of the evening for Europe, and then somewhere in the AM for all of America. If it's not shows, it's important to cool down. Cuba, oh, cool. One more nationality. Still going strong. I feel like I hit it pretty well. So it's more about the announcement. That was my mistake. Um, a cyclist against the dress. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I got it. The timing. Maybe we should do that. I should just join Swift races and then toggle all the Swifters into trying skating out. I just think they're a little ahead of us when it comes to practicalities. It's kind of hard to go skating. Like, you gotta find a rink. Uh, Stanley is saying here, it's 7.30, maybe that's time to me, I guess. Yeah, sounds good to me. And thanks for all your inputs, Daniel. That's pretty cool. Um, I think we chatted already in the top skate support. I can try and set that, uh, try out some skates day up for you. That would be super cool. Uh, so we can make sure that you have the right skates. It makes skating a whole lot, a whole lot more fun. But thanks for your input. I was on the YouTube channel, so you had a, lot of, a bunch of comments. That's really nice. The more comments, the, the more content I can make. And I spend all this energy and time becoming good at skating. Um, so if I can share some of that, that would be great. Yes, way to go. Also, it's cool to have a Danish viewer. I think we're the only two Danish people here. That could also be my bad for announcing it a little late. Maybe we could just do the next live stream in the weekend. Announce it Thursday. I mean, whenever I have my schedule already, just do it by then. And then have as many people join. Maybe some people want to share it on social media so we can enlarge this little Lake Day community. Oh, yeah, also one thing if you have any topics. For YouTube videos, share them with me. So I keep like asking myself, what would I want to know about skating uh, ten years ago? And I try and make videos about it. Sometimes I ask my dad, who's like a fitness, not very experienced fitness skater. I don't think he's watching this. Um, like the question he asked me about bearings and wheels. Uh, so I realized, oh, maybe he's not the only one. And then I try and make videos on that. But 
you might be a better crowd to ask for this. All right, Gimme. Thanks for your super chat earlier on. That was super cool. That, uh, that means a lot to me. So we'll stick with this time. Question straight away. Can all carbon shoes be heat formed? Uh, or heat formed? Um, most carbon skates. If they're full carbon, they should be. Um, what's my FTP? That's pretty high. Uh, I bite a lot. It's, I actually don't know what my FTP is, but I have some test results. I know my uh, 20 minutes max average is 417 watts. It's okay, I weigh 79 kilos right now. Uh, it's 417 is, yeah, it's good enough to be competitive in the, in the fast leagues. Um, and then my one hour max, I think like 360 some, but that was at altitude. Everything is a little harder at 2,400 meters. Um, uh, and then I had a five minute test where I got, it was about 500, just below 500. And then a minute and a half at 651. What? Um, this is all the tests I've done within the last year at least. Um, yeah. What was that question? Um, oh yeah, carbon shoes, they can be heat molded. Um, if you go through my YouTube channel, I made a video with Sophia actually um, on heat molding boots. So most standard stock boots are made to be heat molded. Because carbon really does not yield to your foot. So if they're not made for heat molding, if they don't fit, which they generally do, but if they don't, you'd be in a lot of trouble. So they can almost all of them be heat molded either in the oven or aqua molding, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, There's a concept Logino and LGO has. Those are also some of the skates that I sell in my web shop, topskate.dk. Um, where you boil them. It sounds super weird, but if you think about it, you put them into a waterproof bag, sink them into water, boiling water, of course, and that's just gonna, that way you're sure that the temperature all around the skate is perfectly even, unlike in the oven where some comes from different parts or whatever you place them on might be a little warmer, so you're gonna destabilize the platforms where you attach the frames. Um, so aqua molding is, is a plus in my book. Um, but yeah, almost all stock boots, if they're custom made boots, uh, it's not, not for sure because the way they're built up might be like a weaker structure or I don't want to say random, but um, structures that just don't allow them to be reheated. Um, but also custom skates should fit. I'm actually skating on standard boots right now. Simmons found those to be super great. Haven't heated them, haven't done anything to them, and they fit me. Um, and that was after like, a bunch of my good friends, Magnus, who also is part owner of that skating store. Uh, I know some of the best Dutch skaters, Mulders. My friend Joey also spent a lot of years in the Simmons skates, so it was his best stock skates ever. Um, I gave it a try, and I was really positively surprised. Um, so Simmons skates. Those are really good standard skates. Um, we also have them in the store. Kind of everything I say is good, we have it in the store. That's the whole purpose of starting a skating store, that everything I find good is what I'm reselling. I feel cooled down. Cooled down. Cool. I'm good. Oh, we have more questions coming in. I am from Darren. Darren says, I'm 50, I skate park for two hours, five mornings a week, wow. That is, that is impressive, that's a lot of workouts. It's like five mornings of skate park. 
five times long afternoon skates and three to five times dry land. That is 15 workouts per week. That's more than I do. I think I do 11 or 12. So that, um, props, <laughs> that's impressive. If I'm on a strict diet, um, I don't have a specific meal plan. Uh, I do have the advantages of being a, uh, like having an education in nutrition. I have a bachelor in health and nutrition. Um, so I kind of, my own dietitian a little. Um, so I don't plan it too much, but I'm, uh, I say I have a lot of focus on which macronutrients I use. Um, I find that to be the best way to maintain a healthy weight and to gain muscle mass without gaining fat. Um, Cause you won't really be hungry if you have, should I share my diet? Um, that's a part of it. Like I just, I mentioned earlier, if, um, if you'd like coaching, you'd like to be coached by me online, uh, send me an email, victor.tharup at gmail.com. Uh, that is a coaching plus a nutritional or meal plan package. Um, so, yep, yeah, hit me up or on Instagram if you want to sign up. I have 10 spots free right now, and they're going to go to the first 10 people, but that'll be meal plans because uh, the diet is very individual. It depends on how much you work out, how much you weigh, uh, also what you like to eat. The good quote, the best diet is the diet that somebody actually follows. Um, so I, I would love to help you people out with diets. Um, my own diet is, is nothing really in, in particular. Uh, I have a lot of kind of sets of rules. Like I never eat any meat with more than 10% fat. Um, I, the same goes for cheese. Um, I only drink skim milk. I haven't had a spoon of butter since birth. Um, so in some things I'm like pretty strict about. But it's not like I count calories. Um, I've done that for periods if I really had to lean up or after the off season. Or if I wanted to support Sophia and her weight loss. <laughs> um, but I, it's not like that and I don't measure my food in any way. I just I have a good idea of my macronutrients and I know how much car how many carbs I need, how much protein, how much fat. Um, make sure to get a lot of fibers um, so I can stay efficient for longer. Um, so it's more on the feel. But I also have, say, pretty decent knowledge to nutrition. Um, stone gravity with power slide frame wheels. Um, I haven't had that many great, great experiences with the power slide boots. I do think power slide makes good frames. Um, big fan of the triple X, skated in that for a bunch of years and they kept, kept renewing that, making a new design, making a little better in different ways. Um, so I think that's a good idea. Uh, the wheels, if it's matter wheels, G13, the code wide, are good wheels. Always been used, at least for road skating, for, I don't know, a decade now. Um, so those are, those are great. Um, if skating is good, a good exercise for fat burning, yes. And also the better you are at skating, the more calories you can burn, because you're gonna be more energy efficient. Um, skating is great for burning fat. Um, the main reason why it would be good, like I said, if you're good, you should use your entire body. Uh, you're not like isolating specific muscle groups as if you're doing curls, you're not really moving much. Um, the skating is closer to, I think, like in terms of calories um, and metabolism, uh, like how much, what do you call it, energy and expenditure. Uh, I would compare it to skiing, cross country skiing or classic skiing, because you're it's a full body movement. Um, so skating is really great and also people don't get injured and I was like oh skating is crazy because you go fast and you crash but if you think about it, there's no sudden movements not like playing soccer or football or handball or that was maybe a Danish reference but other sports where you have these sudden movements and unexpected pulls or stretches where skating is kind of up to you and even if you compare it to running there's no like bounces or at least not heavy bounces um, so it's kind of, it's a delicate sport. I recommend, <laughs> obviously. Um, I eat as much fat in meat as I can. Cheese, and I lost 30 kilos. Fat does not make you fat. Fat does not make you fat uh, if it's eaten with moderation. Um, I think it's, it's a big myth. 
fat people that eat more fat tend to gain more fat, uh, but it's not because of the fat itself. It's just it's a pretty simple calculation: um, the amount of calories you eat um, and the amount of calories you burn. Um, so the reason I say fat people tend to gain weight if they eat more fat is just because fat is a very calorie dense uh, macronutrient, the most dense there is. So if you eat fat, there's gonna be more calories in it. And if you have a positive calorie balance or if you eat more calories than you burn, no matter what you eat, even if it's entire, if you eat cucumbers all day long, you would have to eat a lot. But regardless of what you eat, if you eat more calories than you burn, you are gonna gain weight. And you could also eat nothing but butter, fries all day long. Um, but if the amount of it and the total calorie count of it is still lower than the amount of calories you burn, you are not gonna gain any weight. Uh, so the reason I don't eat fat is not that much because I don't wanna get weight. It's just cause the body, um, to say it in, the, in a more educational language, the body likes um, carbohydrates better. It's the best form of fuel there is and proteins are necessary in order to restore and regenerate muscle fibers. Uh, so it's not because I want to have more fat, it's just I'd rather eat carbohydrates and and, um, and proteins. I obviously eat fat, um, especially healthy fats because they're necessary for a lot of processes in the, in the body and for the immune system, for the regeneration of cells. Uh, gone all day long. Fat is great. Um, I eat more calories. Uh, I'm not gonna say that's incorrect, but I am gonna suggest that it's impossible to not gain weight if you eat more calories than you burn. I think that's uh, it's very well scientifically proven. It's not to be annoying. Yeah, salmon. Salmon is dope. Um, actually, I have this um, shake called Stay that I drink once a day. It has all the essential minerals, the vitamins, and also a bunch of healthy fatty acids, uh, omega-3, omega-6, um, which are essential because you can't really produce them in your body if you don't add them through your diet. So I do that every single day to make sure I have the necessary fats. Um, if I sell bun boots, do you recommend? I don't, I don't sell bun boots. Um, I have considered a lot. Um, but I came to the conclusion that I don't feel like there's any specific point where they're better than either Simmons or Lugino. Um, I'm not saying they're bad skates uh, by any means, but I do feel like Lugino is more uh, advantageous when it comes to fitting the person's feet and uh, that the Simmons are a little stiffer, they have a better power transfer. Um, so that's the simple reason why we're not reselling or distributing bonds. Um, also we heard um, this is just simple experience that a lot of the customers that we have come from bond skates and have had uh, unfortunate experiences or haven't been satisfied. Um, so it's a market we don't want to get into. Um, yeah, and then I know Bond is really popular for their semi-speed boots, which I'm definitely not a big fan of. I, I, have, I probably have said this before on my channel, uh, but I'm really against the whole concept of semi-speed um, because unlike going on two big wheels too early, which is just gonna make it super hard for you to skate correctly, uh, I believe that having a low cut and actual speed boot is not a matter of skating correctly, it's like a whole different sport. And those are things that you just have to learn by skating. Uh, whereas how to skate correctly is the same whether you have big wheels or small wheels. Um, that's why you can start out with small wheels, learn to skate and then switch to bigger wheels um, whereas if you skate with a semi, like the, I don't know what it's called, the Bond Semi Speed, if you skate on that, you're gonna develop some habits because you can't really get your knees out front to skate. You can't have as much movement in the angles. You're not gonna learn how to use your feet to generate speed correctly. Um, so this is just a terrible idea. Take it from somebody who grew up with like fitness skates for longer than I should have had. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's a simple reason. Not that I personally have had any, uh, like, what do you think about LXT? LXT, I've never heard, never heard that name before. Um, well, I don't know what the life's doing. Uh, so I can't really say anything about LXT. Um, I think, what time is it? I 
think I'll, um, damn, so many people watching. This is cool. Um, I will be back this week. Um, gotta set up, subscribe to this channel and add the little, I don't know how to do it, but the cool YouTubers always explain it. Add the notification button. I just don't know where it is. Um, maybe you found it already. If you didn't, you can let me know. Um, and then you're gonna get a notification next time I announce that I'm going live. So you can do a little uh, reminder thing. And you're gonna know. And then we're gonna have fun with uh, dry land, downtime, and lactic acid, all the good stuff. It's gonna make us faster in the end. I'm gonna see if Sophia is still awake. She's probably not here anymore because this has been an hour and a half and her heart rate was 75, so she might not even be alive anymore. But then I'll say goodnight to her before Russia goes to bed. Thanks to all of you for watching. It's cool, we can even call this a season two of the dry land. Share it with all your friends. Oh, she's awake. Hey, babe. Um, share, share, share this with all your friends. And we'll be back. Let me see. What do you say Friday? Be back Friday. Okay, I'm gonna, it's, it's a plan. Friday it is. Friday, 10.30. Yeah, big deal. Because everybody seems to be content with that. So Friday, 10.30, we're back. Live stream. Program's gonna come. Subscribe to the channel. Um, Mark it in your calendar, tell your friends, and uh, also super chat because uh, that's awesome. I will uh, put all these super chat money in a pool to buy this cool, I don't know what it's called, Insta X360. It's where you can see yourself. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Scratch the 10 30, the same time we started today, so an hour and a half ago, that's where we're gonna start on Friday. So same as this. Same time, Friday. Cool. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the super chats. Also, that was really nice. That's um, as long as there's super chats, as long as your people are watching, uh, then I'll be doing this. So, yeah, that was confusing. Okay. Same time on Friday. Scratch everything I said. Same time on Friday, more dry land, new exercises, new protocol, same goal. And um, yep, yeah, that's it. We'll leave more comments if you want. I will check back on them and reply to all of you. And yep, yeah, send me a DM on Instagram or write me an email, victorstharp at gmail.com, victor.tharp at gmail.com if you'd like to be coached by me. Uh, online with video analysis, training programs, periodization, so we can get you set for the races you want to peak up, peak for. Damn, Darren, 4 a.m. That's that's boss. I don't even know if I would get up to my own live stream at 4 a.m. I appreciate that. I'll make it worth your sleep. Um, okay, over and out. See ya.